Here's our 2019 BMW X7. And today we're going to be replacing the factory grill that comes with the executive package with the M Sport grill that is all black. Uh, I'm gonna show you the steps, how easy it is to do. Should take you maybe 10 minutes at most and we'll make uh, the front end of it look completely different. Some people like the silver grill, some people like the black one. Whatever you do like, go ahead and do for your car. Uh, this is just to show you the steps on how to get the grill out and put a new grill in. First thing you want to do is pop the hood. These cars have a two-pull release, so your trunk pull is going to be right here. You pull it once, and it'll release the main latch, and you pull it a second time, and it'll release the lock. And once that's done, there's no tab or anything to pull underneath here. Just lift up and your hood's open. So with the grill itself, there's one clip here, one clip here, a few down here. There's the camera, of course. And then at the top, you're gonna have one, let's see, one, two, three, and then one, two, three clips. And if you look inside there, I don't know if you can see in the video or not, um, that little tab is what you push down on to release. Uh, you only need to release the top ones and the rest will just come out as you gently pull on the grill and wiggle it out. Um, so just get your head uh, or yourself a little flathead screwdriver. You're gonna wanna start on this end or on this end and pop the tabs one by one. So first thing we're going to want to do, Aiden, if you want to get a view of the tab there, we're going to start on this end. I'm starting on the driver's side end. You push the tab down. And as you're doing that, oh, well, the whole thing came out. Normally, that doesn't happen, and you want to do one tab at a time. But it looks like all of it came out at once, which is totally fine. They're all still in place. Nothing's broken. So after that, you can see the side tabs came out along with the top ones. That happens all the time. And then the bottom ones, since we're at an angle, they're not really attached, so it should just slide right out. You're gonna have your license plate bracket down here that might snag on there. Just wiggle things around and get it past that. There you go. And next thing you're gonna see is the back of your camera right there. And in order to get that out, I don't bother with the wire. Uh, if you can see, there's three clips that hold it in place. There's that clip there, that clip there, that clip there. If you pry these two outside ones a little bit, you should be able to pop the camera right out. Do it gently. And little by little, there we go. So you can see the tabs are on the edge of the camera now. So now we're just going to gently pull it out. That's it. So that's out. We'll leave it there and if you look at the back of the grill you'll see where all the tabs are for the old one one two three tabs here one two three there at the bottom those are the top tabs the two side ones um, the most difficult part of putting this back in is lining up those side tabs um, they line up in some little pockets right here right there if you see and also right here. Um, so make sure to line those up correctly, the rest just snaps right in. So we've got uh, this kind of lined up where it needs to go. I've got the camera partially put in between the three clips. Gently push it in. Don't jam it in there because sometimes the lens is not lined up on the other side. So gently push it in, let it get lined up, and check the other side. Make sure the camera's in the right spot. Now we'll check this side again and push down gently until the clips snap up. All right, we've got it placed in there. Now we're gonna push along the edge and make sure everything snaps into place. Yep, looks like it's mostly in there. So let's see what our new grill looks like.
There we go. Looks pretty nice, I think. Gives it a much more sporty, aggressive look. Now, one other thing, the active air dams behind the grill, they have these little silver lines on them. Some people like to black those out, uh, either with a piece of vinyl wrap or paint them, etc. I like them, to be honest, just as is. Gives a little subtle look behind the grill itself and uh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna leave them like that. So let's give it a wide angle view here. That is our new look. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of where to get that grill at a really great price on Amazon. Uh, this one is a very good quality. It's not the OEM BMW one, but it is, I couldn't tell the difference between this and the OEM one. Fits great, really good looking quality, and uh, I'm very happy with the purchase. So I'll put the link down in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you next time.